How much is the GameCube? Uh, Twenty dollars with the one game. Okay. Thank you. ¿Cuánto está el Gamecube? ¿Dónde? ¿Este en cuánto está? Ese, el Gamecube, son en... El juego son en el Gamecube. ¿15 dólares? ¿15? Tengo memoria. Este trae una memoria, son los dos compromisos. No sé si traen los cables. How much are the games? Uh, PS2 games are uh, two hours each.
hay más consolas Ah, qué bueno le vi. Encontré a ver ese, el de Shadowman. No, no, va, no. Nunca lo había visto. ¿Está chido?
five here today I bring you another flea market pickup video I did pick up some stuff at the flea market at a pawn shop and I did some upgrades to my hardware uh, as in video camera capturing hardware and I bought a game from GameStop so let me show you what I got at the pawn shop since that's what I showed first uh, there was a clip where I found a DS it was like $50 at the Salvation Army but it wasn't even worth it and then a pawn shop, there was a Game Boy SP and a Game Boy Color. And uh, I ended up buying the SP, it was $12. It does work. Let me see it, turn it on. As you can see, it does turn the backlight and everything. And they come with chargers, so pretty cool, 12 bucks there. And then at another pawn shop, I bought Star Wars The Force Awakens. Uh, for I think it was four dollars and it is the blu-ray plus DVD plus di digital HD I just wanted the blu-ray so four dollars I mean you can't beat that for the whole set there now let's get into what I found at the flea market uh, there's this booth that had a bunch of games well first there was a bunch of systems and then um, I kept going through them and then the, I asked the guy if he had any games and he said yeah there's some games on that bin over there so I ran quickly and I started taking out games because there's another person taking out games as well so I took out all the games and I was like choosing which ones I wanted uh, I ended up buying a bunch of Sega Genesis games for one of my buddies that's a collector and uh, I bought these for myself the first game well the only game that I bought there was Donald Duck going quackers as you can see right there for the PS2 this is complete so pretty cool there I paid I think I think this one was free I don't know, I'm not sure. I paid like a couple bucks, maybe three dollars. And then I know for sure I got these for free. Uh, Game Genies, this one's for, I'm pretty sure for the Super Nintendo. Has all the codes for the Game Genie and then one for the Sega Genesis. So pretty cool there. Now, uh, the other thing that I found that I bought um, at the flea market this past like two weeks was this power plug. So. I did end up paying, he had it at like $9, I ended up paying $6, it was, it's, I mean it's brand new, still in the little plastic, you can see the little tab right there, brand new, so what this is, you plug it into your uh, Super Nintendo and then you plug in your controller and then you can uh, make it like slow motion or like fast motion, it just depends like power steering, uh, pro, uh, like auto fire, stuff like that, so it's kind of like a hack, I know. But it's cool because it's like uh, Nintendo license, so pretty cool there. And I think that's the only things I bought the to this whole two weeks because I haven't found any good deals. I mean, I find games and sometimes I'm not even like it's not a good deal, so I end up passing on it. So a lot of the games that you see here, I end up uh, leaving or like yeah, leaving them at at the booth. Now. Some of the hardware that I upgraded, I upgraded my uh, GoPro. I upgraded to, I used to have a GoPro 3 Black Series, I think. So now I bought a GoPro uh, 4. I don't know if you guys can really see this. If it's focusing or not. But the only difference that this one has, you could uh, record in 4K and it also has a touchscreen, um, what's it called? Display in the back, so that's pretty convenient. You can see that I am uh, pretty cool. I ended up uh, buying this one for $160, and I sold my GoPro 3 for $150. So I ended up just kind of trading up for $10. So that's pretty cool. It it was just a GoPro, and I think like a selfie stick. I kept my chest mount and everything else. And um, 
The other thing I bought um, that's kind of an upgrade, well, yeah, not, it's not an upgrade, it's something new to my channel. I bought a drone. Um, the reason I upgraded my GoPro is because this one needs a, a GoPro 4. So I bought a 3D, 3DR Solo. I'll probably put some uh, footage um, somewhere on here on another video. So it's pretty cool because it already comes with a controller. You don't have to control it with your phone, which, I mean, I think you can. But it was on a, uh, I think it was on sale. I ended up paying 500, I'm mean, not 500, it was 500 by itself. And Best Buy had a deal for $300 and it came with the gimbal, which is this right here, which makes, like, stabilizes the camera more. It came with that, some extra, um, I don't know what you call these, like fins or I don't know the proper name for them. And an extra battery, which is kind of like a 700 or a 750, like all together if you buy it retail. But it was on sale for 300 bucks, so I bought that. Um, so I'm probably gonna do some aerial views of the flea market that I go to. And the last last thing I bought, guys, was Resident Evil 7. Now, this game, if you haven't played it yet, I'm not gonna say anything. But this game is freaking. What's, it's like a bunch of jump scares. It's like freaking creepy, dude. Um, I don't know why I called you dudes, but uh, it's freaking cool game. I haven't, um, like when I play games, I don't like playing all like in one day or try to play it all through one day. I like to stop and then like kind of go back and stuff like that just to get every single clue and stuff like that. But I recommend this game. I ended up paying $15 because it had uh, 20% extra credit so when GameStop has that that's when I actually buy games from GameStop I don't usually go out and pay retail for my games I usually go up and trade in because I know I'm gonna get more as a trade-in and it's usually stuff I trade in from the flea market like PS3 controllers or extra games that I don't um, use anymore or don't play or usually the ones I buy for like a dollar and then they're worth 20 bucks as in trade-in so that's how I got this for $15 guys um, pretty awesome game I still haven't played through it but I mean don't no spoils but that is it for this week guys keep up with my videos I will do a giveaway one of my shirts or a couple of my shirts uh, as a giveaway if you guys are interested just make sure to like comment and subscribe also follow me on Instagram and uh, my Twitter also um, I'll do some giveaways there it's you get a more uh, probability of winning if you follow me there and that's about it guys so like comment subscribe and as always see you guys later